Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do a real quick install video for you. Uh, when you go to Nexus or MyDB, you'll be downloading a 7-zip file, which will look something like this. Uh, this is gonna be the latest one, ROT 3.8.2. I'm about to upload it uh, tonight. It's got the, a few bug fixes and a crash fix. A few other things I've changed. Uh, so this is going to be the latest version, probably come uh, tomorrow morning. Well, I'm just going to go through, once you get this folder, what you need to do is uh, unzip it with 7-zip. And what you probably be a good idea to do is do whatever you got to do to be able to pay attention to what's going on with this file. One easy way to do it, just to, you know, it's a little extra step. Just create a folder, you know, just call it, you know, whatever you got to call it. Put your, you know, open your little folder empty folder make a little copy of our little thing in here okay, we'll get it in there i'm just gonna go through it a little bit slow because for some reason people just struggle installing this mod and it's literally probably the easiest big mod in the world to install so you see now we're right here we got an empty folder with nothing but our seven zip file in it Let's go ahead and just extract this right here. Go, you know, go to your seven, seven zip, extract here, and it's going to extract it. Now you see we have a folder that says ROT, ROT 3.8.2. Now, if you click into this folder, you'll see we have an ROT content, ROT races, and the realm folder. All you have to do is grab these three. You know, click on them, double click, control, shift, do whatever you got. Click on all three of these, copy them. You can either copy them or you can uh, just uh, uh, click on all of them and drag them. But they need to go into your Bannerlord modules folder. To get there on my computer, you know, just go, we'll go follow the whole path. You go to, you know, go to your PC, go to your, uh, your drive, go to program files 86. Uh, then you'll go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and this uh, this is my the only two games from Steam I have uh, I have uh, on my computer right now is Warband and Bannerlord. Click on Bannerlord. Once you get into Bannerlord, this is your Bannerlord directory. You know, it's, it's the, this is the first first time when everything you see is has nothing to do with anything but Bannerlord. So this is your Bannerlord directory. You see this modules folder? Click into this modules folder. These are the modules that's going to show up in your uh, in your launcher. So once you click in here, all you have to do is just either drag those three folders, those three module folders, and put it in the banner uh, lord modules folder right here, or you can copy and paste them in here. The thing you want to do if you've had this mod installed before is def go in here and erase. All the old uh, uh, Realm of Thrones modules first. If you just copy over them, I mean things change. The the, the Bannerlord makes textures and stuff in the thing called T pack uh, T pack on um, the T pack, however you say it, uh, files, and they don't stay consistent. You change textures, delete them. It packages them different every single time. You, you, we go back and change the texture on something. And it repackages it, it it will not be the same it won't automatically replace uh you know stuff perfectly so you just copy over you're going to mess up your textures you're going to mess up something so always delete all the folders first from before and completely fresh install those three modules here once those three modules get here all you have you know your, your mine's already in here of course all you have to do is launch the game use the native launcher do not use butterlib or butter loader whatever it's called don't use that. People's having problems with that. Don't use any. You don't need to. It's, it, I mean, it's. I don't get it. Uh, it's just go to your regular, your regular launcher. And once you get in, you go to your. Of course, you go to your little mods thing. You don't for Realm of Thrones. You don't need any of this stuff. You don't need Harmony. You don't need Butterlib. You don't need none of this crap. All you need is ROT content, the Realm, ROT races. That order. After the native stuff, so all you need to run Realm of Thrones. For your other mods, you know, I, I don't get into all that. All I'm worried about is, is my shit and getting it, you know, getting it running. Your other mods, don't even ask me about them. But uh, that's it. You put it in there. 
you should be good to go.